Welcome to another episode of Dumb Guys Talk About Fantasy Baseball. Today, let's talk about third base. Third base is nothing compared to the power of the dark side. Third baseman, bitch. Oh? Third base looks pretty deep to me. We got seven guys getting drafted by the sixth round, and four of those guys will probably be gone by the second round. Heath, what do you think about those early round third basemen? Well, Barry, there is a lot of pop in those first four third basemen. And I just did a mock draft and took Bryant in the second round. And I actually liked how my team looked. I was a little surprised. All right, I guess I could go with that. My advice is to get one of those guys going early. You want to get your third base locked in because the later rounds, there's a real drop-off. So with the exception of Bryant, who I think is just too expensive in the second round, I would jump on some of those guys like Donaldson, um, Machado, uh, and, and those likes. Another guy I like is Arenado. I think he's got a great balanced approach to the plate, which will result in good numbers, a combination of power and average. Go after that guy. Heath, what do you think about Manny Machado? In our league, Manny Machado is shortstop eligible, which could make third base even more shallow, just because I might get him, stick him at short, and then pick another third baseman as well. You never know. A guy going in the sixth round is Todd Frazier, which is pretty interesting because I think I drafted him last year around the third round. The thing about Todd Frazier, he can put out some numbers, but his second half, he always falls off. He has never hit more than 10 home runs in a second half season in his career. So you can take your chances on him in the sixth round. Evan Longoria is an interesting option in the later middle rounds. He's going in the 11th. This is a guy who has 30 home run power, although we haven't seen that in a couple of years. Heath, who are you taking in the middle rounds? More of a middle round guy, I think it's Seager, just for consistency. You're going to get 22 to 26 home runs out of him, guaranteed. Now another approach you can take if you miss out on one of those top four or five third basemen is wait a little bit and take Mikel Franco. He has a lot of potential. I think you have a good shot at getting 25 home runs out of him. And if you take him, I'd recommend maybe getting Matt Duffy and sticking him on your bench as a stolen base option. I think one of those two will be a superstar next year and you would have both on your team. An interesting option at third base is Mike Moustakis. Way in the late rounds, this guy's like the free toy you get with your Happy Meal. He's going in the 21st round. He's hit 20 plus home runs in two of the last four seasons. And last year, his OPS jumped almost 200 points to 817. Um, hopefully he's your backup guy, but in a pinch, he's not too bad to stick in your lineup. Heath, do you think any of the Royals players are going to live up to what they did last season? Barry, that's an interesting question about the Royals. I honestly don't think that any of them overachieved. You didn't see anybody hit 40 or 50 home runs and, and do anything ridiculous. I mean, Lorenzo Cain kind of did what you'd expect with his talent. Hosmer, I think people are still expecting more out of him. So... Overall, I think all of them will pretty much do again what they did last year, at least. The last guy I want to talk about is Danny Espinosa. Now, besides having awesome facial hair, this guy could be a steal in the later rounds. He started his career with two really solid seasons and then lost playing time due to injury. This year, he should slip into shortstop with the exit of Desmond and get a full season's worth of playing time. If he bounces back, he could be very valuable in addition to the fact that he's uh, eligible for first base, second base, third base, and shortstop in Yahoo leagues, um, I might just pick this guy up, put him on my bench, and see what happens. Heath, do you have any late round guys you're looking at? Well, you know, Barry, kind of a crazy late round pick is Pablo. He can't do any worse than what he did last year, and he lost a little, little bit of weight, and when he did that with the Giants, he bounced back nicely. So I'd say a low weight Pablo could be a good, really late option. Okay, guys, that wraps us up at third base. Watch Dumb Guys and win your fantasy baseball league. You're, you're first. Oh, 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 you said I say the videos. Yeah, yeah, you say the videos, and I say subscribe, comment and subscribe. So there's the, if you like those videos, check out these, so I say that. Yeah. Okay. Right? All right, okay. Okay. All right. If you like those videos, check out these others. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, shit. Like, call. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Take 93. Mm -hmm.
And if you like those videos, check out these other ones. And don't forget to comment and like this video. And subscribe to the Dumb Guys. Oh, yeah. Mm. Did you, you have another idea for that? No, I thought we were switching off line for line. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, oh so okay. I did it wrong. Like, I would say, if you like those videos... Then I go, like, check out these. Oh, we do that. Okay. You That's do cool. That? Yeah. Okay. And then, you, and then you'll say... Comment and I'll say subscribe. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Let's cool. that. All right. Cool. Now that we got all that on camera. Okay. <laughs> okay we should so. put that on as the as the outro. <laughs> as a, yeah. How do we do this? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can cut that in. That'd, That'd be, be funny. funny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>